Hey guys, it's been one month since I've been here in Chile, and um, I'm just going to give you an update. Um, first, I'm going to show you my house. Um, <coughs> as I see, I just walked in the front door. Um, let me go in here into the living room. So, living in a dorm room for the last four years, this is so much better. As you can see all my junk on the table. Um, this is so much better than anything I ever had at college. Um, it's funny, the missionaries uh, that live here actually left for the States um, for probably a year or so, a few months ago. And so, <clears throat> although I have a TV and I have a DVD player, I have one video and no cable and no internet here. So, I mean, usually we have stuff to do anyway, but I'm um, still sometimes annoying when you're here by yourself. And here's the kitchen. Uh, pretty simple. My dirty dishes, microwave, leftover bacon grease from this morning. Pretty good. Got a fridge <laughs> that has, well, has a little bit of stuff in it. I've pretty much bought everything and cooked everything. Um, when we come down here, we have a laundry room. Look at that. It's nice. Um, so, pretty simple. Very nice, though. <coughs> And then we can come back here, back through the kitchen, all the way back down the hall. And we have one bathroom here, which uh, I actually don't use this one because right around the corner we have a better one. Oh, it's huge. And this is the one I use. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, you can see all my stuff here. Da -da -da. I mean, what, what can you say about a house? I mean, it's pretty much, you can just see it, so you get the gist of things. Uh, here's a room. Um, in August, another person is coming with hands-on, and uh, supposedly he'll be staying in here, since I'm already here. Plus, I'm probably bigger than him, so if you have problems, I'll just throw him out of the house, you know. And this is my room, okay? This bed is, it fills the whole room. I don't know if I need to sleep on it this way or sleep on it this way. Usually I choose the midpoint, go diagonal, but um, I've never seen a bed that big in my life. It's huge. So, that is basically the house inside of it. It's actually nighttime here, so you won't get to see the outside of it. But, hmm, let me find a seat. I can tell you all the great things that have been going on in Chile. Um, whatever, this work. So, <clears throat> so basically, uh, this today, well, let me start over. Um, Spanish here is ridiculous. I'll just start with that. Uh, it's it's not like a Mexican Spanish or pretty much all South America. It's it's totally different. In fact, I I talked to the people about it, and they they claim they don't speak Spanish. They speak uh, Chileno or uh, Chilean, basically. Um, <clears throat> and they're very proud of it. They they speak very fast. Like I can hardly catch anything with what they say. I have to know it very well uh, for them, for me to be able to understand it. And not only do they speak fast, but they cut words up and they spit it out as fast as they can. Um, and they say it very weird, like, uh, como estas is how are you? Well, they don't say como estas. They say como está. And I'm, the first time I heard that, I was like, what the heck is that? And even now, I've, I've gotten used to it, so I can catch it every time now. But just to hear como estas as como está, uh, and it's very quick, um, and the, everything is like that. It's it's been a month, and I'm starting to catch on. But the Spanish here is is ridiculous, um, which I guess is a good thing, because I figured that if I can understand the people here, I can pretty much understand anybody. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be the case. And uh, you know, <clears throat> this whole last month, it's it's really really been hard. Um, but over the last few days, being here the whole month, I, I've been able to speak uh, several times. I shared my testimony in Spanish for the first time, uh, I guess two days ago, by myself, without a translator. Um, and today we were working in, in a little college, which when I say college here, is it's more of a private school. Um, university is our equivalent of university or college. Uh, so we're working with basically ninth grade students and down today. And uh, it was real neat because it's a private Christian college um, here. It's brand new. 
and so we're able to go around, go into the classes, speak English, speak Spanish, uh, it's speaking Spanglish, it's pretty crazy. Um, but we were able to go around and share our testimony with them, and it was it was real neat. Uh, I actually have two bracelets. Um, if you know me um, well, or if you've been around me a lot over the last, last uh, year, you know, I, or actually last semester, you know I have two bracelets. One is this, which stands for Jesus came down, was crucified, buried, rose again, and he's coming again. And... The other one, let me take it off, is the salvation plan on the bracelet. You have sin, you have blood, faith, forgiving, grow, and heaven. And so, anyway, today I was able to, I was able to use these and uh, talk to the kids about it and share my testimony and share the plan of salvation which, you know, that can be tough anyway, but when I'm speaking a different language doing that, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, in fact, I had, to, I had to use a translator a few times just because uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of like, exactly the words to say. Um, and that's, that's actually been one of, okay, there's been two really hard things. One is understanding people, and two is actually working through a translator. I've never done that before, and it's, it's very hard because um, you have to pause every few seconds or every half sentence or sentence in order to let them uh, catch up and figure it out and say it to them. Um, and to speak in, in broken fragments of the whole thought and to continue on without losing their focus uh, or without, without losing your focus, it's, it's new to me and it's, it's very hard. Um, but <clears throat> it's been good. And I've been able to speak to several people uh, about Christ. You know, a lot. The majority, I guess, about 95% of the people here are or profess to be Catholic. Um, but many of them don't practice it. Many of them don't even know what it believes. Many don't go to church or go to mass. Um, and so, which I'm not looking to really convert anyone by denomination. I just want people to know and have a relationship with Christ. And to have us, well, uh, I came here with the OBU group, and they're already gone. Um, but now I have two other people from OBU, and we're working together in these different colleges. Um, but, like, the kids here, they just love us, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, they see us, and we're considered gringos, which um, I found out that in Central America is a bad term, but down here in South America, it's it's not a bad term at all. And, in fact, um, when they see gringos, they, they usually are, are want to come and speak their English. Um, you know, we... we we try to speak a little bit of Spanish, and they'll speak back in English, and it's it's really crazy. Um, but the kids here, they they love us, and so they're all interested, and they always ask us questions about, you know, how's the United States like? What's your favorite music? What's your favorite fu food? You know, the simple things they can say in English that they they want to know everything about us, and so it, it's very easy, um, you know, have an open door to tell them, you know, how important God is to me, and. Um, like today, we're we're going through the the university or the college, and like the our teacher or our translator said uh, we are Christians, and they were like, what? They're they're Christians? Oh, that's cool! And they they wanted to know more about it. And we shared the plan of salvation, and, and many had like questions um, that we were a bit further able to explain. So we have a lot of open doors here. Um, we're we're actually working in a, a new area of town where there are no churches at the moment. There are plans to start one, and being here, I consider long-term, and overall, I'm considered really short-term uh, for the year. But our long-term goals are we have a Bible study set up. We have this connection with the college. We have a Bible camp in the making. Um, <clears throat> well, we're, we're just trying to get people in the community involved in this and starting this Bible study. And hopefully, eventually, you know, as this goes on, have a few leaders come out um, and start a church in the area. You know, we can't run everything. Uh, our goal is to equip people here, Chileans, not, not us Americans or missionaries, but to equip the people here to be able to start this and run it themselves. Um, they, have, they, they have more influence. And for me, they have... Uh, they don't have a language barrier well, with the Chileans. So um, these are long-term goals we have, and it's it's really been fun. Um, if if you saw.
saw me in the mirror, you know, or in this video, I can't really see. I've actually, I'm in Under Armour and stuff. I just got back from playing uh, soccer. Uh, soccer's huge here, and everybody plays, which I knew that, but, <clears throat> like, there's people out there 50, 60 years old playing. Um, basically, if you want to have any influence with anyone and get through to them, you play soccer, or you have an asado, a barbecue. Um, and these people, they all come, and you get to know them, and so we've been building contacts through that, and, you know, getting invited to different games, and getting to know people, and building connections with people, and, you know, getting to talk to them about God. Uh, later on, you know, you just don't go up to someone and just blurt out and vomit Jesus all over them. Uh, we build relationships first, and um, so... It, it's really hard for me at the moment because of the language barrier. But speaking in this whole last month and starting to be able to understand it, like I had a bunch of conversations today with the kids and with different teachers um, where we had a whole conversation uh, just like it would be in English. Uh, there's still several times uh, where other people, like at stores, they don't care if you can understand them or not. There's, they don't slow down their speech for us, and I can't understand them at the moment. Um, but been here a whole month, haven't been able to understand anyone this whole month, and I know I've had a lot of people praying for me, and uh, been starting to um, been able the last few days to start to understand people and actually have conversations, share testimonies, share share the gospel, um, share the plan of salvation uh, in Spanish, and. Um, you know, it, it's really, really good. Um, I'm starting to see light, starting to see fruit. Um, it's still very hard. There's still a lot of words I don't know, and there's still times I don't know how to say something. Um, but um, it's, it's been going good. I love it here. Uh, the city's beautiful. Um, you know, Chile is so diverse. Um, the other day we went to, uh, went on a little vacation after the OBU group left. <laughs> Uh, we went to Punto de Choros in La Serena, which is basically a, a beach town. And on the way through there, we, we left Santiago, which has 7 million people. It's just a huge, huge city. Um, we went through the desert to go to the beach. Um, while we were at the beach, we saw dolphins, we saw seals, we saw penguins, we saw all this crazy stuff. And it was, it was absolutely beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Um, <clears throat> but I have pictures of of palm trees with the desert in the background, or palm trees with with um, with snow on the mountains in the background. The mountains here are beautiful. It's actually going into winter right now, and it snowed the other day up on the mountains, not here in Santiago because we're in the valley. Um, but it snowed on the mountains, and it was so beautiful. Um, <clears throat> but it's melted since then, so I've got to wait a little bit longer for more snow to come back. Uh, should go snowboarding pretty soon. So, yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm kind of wanting to go snowboarding and go to the beach in the same day. That would be that would be amazing. But anyway, so that's that's a little bit about what's been going on, um, especially over the last few days. You know, to be able to speak in Spanish, be able to share my testimony. Um, you know, uh, continue praying for me because um, I'm able to converse a little, but there's still a lot, and it's still very very hard. Like after speaking Spanish all day today and, and translating some. Uh, m my brain hurt so bad, uh, and I was just exhausted. Um, talking to the translators here, they say that after a day of translating, they are so tired, and I, I totally understand that now. So, um, but <clears throat> anyway, that's a little bit about Chile. That's a little bit about my health, and I'm doing I'm doing great, and I love it here. Um, so continue praying for me. Continue. Um, praying that God will open up doors for me, that I will be able to understand people, and not only understand, but be able to talk to them and have meaningful relationships, pray for open doors, and, uh, you know, at the moment, there's, you know, hmm, it's, uh, uh, truthfully, I, there's a, only a few people that speak English here, um, so I'm trying to, to make as many friends as possible, which I, I do have some, but it's, it's real hard to communicate, it, it really is. So uh, I, I can't just walk up to anybody on the street and start a conversation. And, you know, um, it has to be someone who's patient, who's willing to talk, and uh, which a lot of them are. A lot of Chileans you know, want to uh, use a little bit of Spanish or a little bit of English, um, especially the kids. So uh, all the colleges we're working at, the kids, the kids have been awesome, and they always want to know 
more about the U.S. and more about our life. And um, when we tell them about Jesus, you know, that's part of us and that's part of who we are. And they want to know more about that. So, you know, it, it's, it's been amazing. I love it here. And God's, God's really working. And I see, you know, some days are really, really slow. And, you know, I wonder, you know, what's, what's going on? Why, why are we not doing anything? Why is this taking so long? But it's on those days, a lot of times, we start preparing and making uh, preparations for or relationships for future events. And we've, we've had several contacts just contact us out of nowhere, and several doors open up out of nowhere where uh, we went to talk to someone, and they connected us with someone else who wanted to start a Bible group. Or there's one person, and we're, we're following up on this right now, who wants to do a three-week Bible like camp type deal uh, in January, which is their summer when they're out of school. Uh, so I won't be here for that, but we're in the process of trying to get that together right now, and um, it's it's really awesome to see God working here and to be used by Him. Uh, even though in a small way, right now, especially with the the Spanish, there is a group here. Um, they're international kids, a lot of MKs, a lot of people who moved all over the place who speak a lot of English, and right now I'm working with them also. Um, but my main field. I feel, and what I want to be, is the Chileans and the, the Spanish speakers. So, um, pray that God will open up doors for me, and that He will use me, and that uh, you know I won't get in the way. So, anyway, that's a lot, or a lot, a little, whatever, um, about me. I've been here for one month, and this is the first real update I've I've given you. So, um, you know, comments, do whatever, right on my Facebook. I'll check it. Um, I get on Skype every now and then. I try not to get on too much uh, and try not to get on Facebook too much because I don't want to be a distraction. But I, I do appreciate your prayers. I do appreciate you contacting me and uh, let me know you're thinking about me. Um, I miss a bunch of y'all. Um, that's the one thing. Like I'm, I, I do miss y'all so much. But at the same time, I have no desire to come back at the moment. Uh, you know, as December comes closer, which is a long away away from now, um, I feel like you know I'll I'll be looking forward to that. But right now, I see God working, and I feel like I need to be here. And I feel He has, He has me here for a reason. Um, partly, I believe for my future and future endeavors that He will take me on, but also for right now as I am here now. Um, so <clears throat> that's it. Um, I'm enjoying it here, and I love it. Um, so keep me in your prayers. I will try to post some more updates. Um, but I just wanted to let you know I'm doing good, and uh, just keep me in your prayers. Thanks so much for all your support and for everything you've done. I miss y'all. See ya.